Welcome to this edition of Rock's Kitchen. It's your boy Rock coming at you again with another meal that is VSG friendly. VSG, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, something that I had back in April of 2014 and I have dropped the whole 147 pounds. I'm feeling great still. Today I bring forward to you guys a new recipe that's going to be combined with an old recipe. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to take a chili recipe and I'm going to combine that with an acorn squash. Now, this will be the first time I've ever eaten an acorn squash. I've had uh, spaghetti squash, I've had all types of gourds, butter, butternut squash. This is going to be the first time I've had an acorn squash. I've heard tremendous things about it and I'm hoping that it tastes great and I'll let you know, as I always do, whether we got a yes or a no. Alright, so let's get right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to brown some meat. It's very simple. So, as we brown the meat, I basically take a little bit of seasoning with it. So we're going to go a little salt. A little pepper. And then I'm going to toss in a little bit of garlic on there too. And what we have is ground turkey, all right? Ground turkey. And just take your stuff here and chop it right up. All right, so what we have is a pound of turkey meat, all right, guys? So that's what we started with, a little salt and pepper. So now let's go ahead and start giving it some of that flavor. Now, you guys always ask me, Rocky, how much, how much? I don't know. I like flavor. So I just, I just pour it in. I'd probably say that was about two, two tablespoons. The cumin, you don't have to go too much on. That's gonna hit your flavor. So we had chili powder, cumin. Now we got some oregano flakes. All right, what we're doing is releasing a lot of that flavor. I like oregano, so don't, don't, don't blame me here. Okay, guys, I love oregano. Now. Here's the little thing. A little heat never hurt nobody, but just a little bit. Just a little bit, get it all around. Red pepper flakes. All right, let's go ahead and get that in. Stir it all around. Now, here's the deal, guys. You guys have heard me say before, I like a chunky chili. I like it a little bit thick, meaning I don't like a wet, saucy chili. That's not what I do, all right? I like mine to be nice. I want every bite to feel, I want to get all that flavor in there. All right, so there we have that. Now we can start adding some of our other ingredients, all right? We're going to toss in our minced garlic. We're going to toss in some yellow onions. It's about one, about a half an onion is what we have in there right now. You can put a whole onion, you can put as much onion as you pop first, uh, as you want. You can put as much onion as you want. Now we have our peppers. Now I'm just going to give that time to, to get in there as well. Okay. This is one of my favorite, favorite recipes of chili. The reason why it's my favorite, it's one of the easiest things to make. You put a whole bunch of stuff together, put it in a pot, put it in a pan, boom, it's done. All right, but we're gonna add something to it with that acorn just to see how that comes out. Everyone's journey is different. Everyone's restrictions are different. If you don't want corn, don't put corn in. If you don't want beans, don't put beans in. All right, we have some black beans, low sodium. I have them already wrenched out. We're just gonna add those right in. And now we're gonna mix all of this together. Good gracious, this look good. I wish that I, back in the day, cooked like this. I'm telling you now, being in the kitchen now and doing this, it's like, why didn't I do this back then? Because it was so much easier just to go hop in the car, go to those fast food places, get about six or seven burgers. You don't need to do any of that, all right? You do stuff right here at home. Here's where we add our wet ingredients, okay? We're gonna put our wet ingredients. We have some, I love this tomatoes. This is a fire roasted garlic tomato uh, by a certain canned company. Yes, I put a canned good in there, all right? It is awesome. I love it to death. Gives it so much flavor. That's what you want. You want flavor throughout your meal. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And here's where you have a little bit of that wet. 
Okay? Toss it right in there. That gives it that little bit of wet for you. And now we're simply going to add our green chilies. And I love this. Mix it all up. And we're going to let this simmer for about maybe 10 minutes or so. Okay? About 10 minutes. Let all that flavor get through all the meat. Let everything marinate and marry together. And boom, our chili is basically done. Now do you see why I like to do it this way? It's so much quicker and simpler than putting in a pot and waiting 30, 40 minutes. It's a done deal. All right? So I'm going to come back in just a second. I'm going to take our stuff, uh, excuse me, our acorn out of the oven. We're going to stuff it and going to put it back in the oven for about 30 minutes. All right? So now what we did, we took our acorn. All right, when we had our acorn, we, we cut it right down the middle from top to bottom. Kind of give yourself, make sure you don't chop any fingers off, okay? Went right down the middle, gave it a little push down, it popped right open, took the seeds out of this thing, and then what we ended up doing was placing it on parchment paper, face down, and then we put it in the oven for about, uh, I'd say a half an hour on 400. We have our acorns, we're basically gonna flip those bad boys over. Wow, this is warm, but it, it's, and it smells good. Here's the deal, guys, I didn't put anything on here. And when I say that, I really didn't drizzle it with any olive oil or whatnot. I really just let it bake and it even, it even smells awesome just as it is. So, you know, some gourds you have to put a little flavor to it. I think this thing is going to be a little sweet. I smell that, that aroma. It really smells good. So, so let's go ahead and stuff our, I'm going to go ahead and stuff it and just take a couple spoonfuls of all your meat. Place it right in. It's okay if it goes over. You just want to stuff this bad boy. See that juice in there? We'll stuff it a little bit more. Make sure you're getting your three to four ounces of protein in there, right? Now that's stuffed. Now what I'm going to do now is I just want to seal it just a little bit. Someone came over the house the other day when I had one of my group meetings and said, I've never seen anyone put Parmesan cheese on a chili. This guy does. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna, when it goes back in the oven, it's gonna give it a little seal, keep everything together. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven for another 30 minutes. In it goes, and we're almost done. So another recipe, rock kitchen friendly. That's gonna be awesome for your, for your sleeve, for your reroute, trust me. This is another recipe. I need you guys to open up your mind and say, let me try something different. This is something different. As, as I said, I've never had an acorn squash before, but I can tell you just from that smell, how much I'm looking forward to tasting it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the finished product in just a couple seconds. Be right back. Look at what we have. We have all this chili left over. For a sleeve person, that is, I don't know how many meals I can count. You can stuff a pepper. You can put this in, in a, you can do a, a spaghetti squash. You can put this with quinoa. There's all sorts, uh, sorts of possibilities. This is your prep time for today, but then you can make the peppers later, the, the, the spaghetti squash. You have meals for days, guys, all right? So those are just some ideas and possibilities here at The Rock's Kitchen. All right, so now we have our finished, finished product, all right? We have our acorn squash full of flavor, full of smells and aroma. When I tell you guys, the kitchen smells great, it really does. Um, this is gonna be a meal that's gonna be a new staple in our house that we're gonna eat over and over again. So, with that said, open up your minds, as I said. There's all types of foods out there that are delicious, that are full of flavor, and not boring whatsoever, that will help you in your weight loss journey. All right, so I wish you nothing but success. I hope that your weight loss journey is just as great as the next person's. All right, it's your boy Roxanne. Weight loss always starts right here in the kitchen.